My name is Eric Barber. My wife and I own Barracks Fitness in Calgary. Our gym's been open for nine years. We're very close with our members and our staff, and we pride ourselves on being flexible and adaptable. In the last year, we've had zero COVID cases originate in the gym, but our income this January is one quarter of what it was a year ago. Normally, December, January, and February are great months for us. We run competitions, we see a bunch of new faces ready to get in the best shape of their lives, but that's certainly not the case this year. And after speaking with other gym owners, we're not alone, and I should add that there are gyms in a lot worse shape than ours. When we were initially asked to close, we did. We loaned out all of our equipment. We provided virtual classes, outdoor classes, specialty program, video analysis, and so much more. We made the best of a bad situation to help our members maintain their fitness and maintain their sanity. When allowed to open in June, we adjusted again. We cut our capacity, we increased our hours of operation, we ran as many classes outdoors as we possibly could. We even bought more equipment to ensure that nobody had to share. We changed protocols, we spent a bunch of time educating our staff and educating our members. We were diligent when it came to distancing and doing our part to flatten the curve. During this most recent shutdown, we lent out all of our equipment again. We purchased additional software to help run the virtual side. We offer even more programming. We've created follow-along tutorials, follow-along videos. We run virtual classes, outdoor classes, and so much more. We've done everything we can to help stop the spread and serve our members at the same time. For the last 10 months, the policy at AHS and with the Alberta government, uh, the policy they employed is simple, react with lockdowns, increased restrictions, and wait for a vaccine. This reactionary policy is short-sighted at best, and it's stifling business in Alberta. We understand and we agree that the priority is to keep the vulnerable safe and minimize stress on our healthcare system. But there's certainly other factors to consider. It's almost been a year, and Hinshaw and the Alberta government are continuing to do the same thing, expecting different results. We deserve the opportunity to serve our members, serve our community, serve our staff, and keep everyone safe at the same time. I know it sounds like I'm complaining, because I am, but there's a lot of businesses in a worse situation than we are, so I'm asking for a renewed perspective on operations. Our hope is that you will allow fitness facilities that can meet certain criteria to open. There's no need to paint everyone with the same brush. You've said that time and time again. You're currently allowing certain businesses to open in other sectors because they can keep people safe. So there's no reason we can't go a step further and look at businesses within each subsector. So let us show you what systems we have in place to keep people safe, contact trace, and of course, put food on our kids' table. All appointments in the gym require pre-registration through our software. This allows us to limit attendance and know exactly who is in the gym and when. Once the member has arrived, our staff checks them in. We can also look back in time through the software to see when each member was in the gym and who was in at the same time. Each appointment block is separated by a minimum of 15 minutes to prevent overlapping and dissuade congregating. We have strict rules in place to stop people from lingering before and after their workout. The doors of the gym are open just before the scheduled booking time to decrease touch points. Each member is required to wear a mask into and out of the gym. Upon entry, they must hand sanitize, and then they go directly to their self-sustained workout station. Once the member is in their station, they review the list of equipment they need to clean before their workout and start the cleaning and disinfecting process. Each station has all the equipment they need so that they do not need to leave that station or share equipment with other members. We have laid the gym out so that members are always at least three meters apart. After the workout, each member is required to clean and disinfect the equipment they just used. Staff and coaches wear masks and maintain physical distance at all times. We've also installed the CO2 monitor. The monitor measured approximately 400 parts per million outdoors. We keep that reading under 600 parts per million when indoors. 600 parts per million has been deemed safe by our sort of governing body, CrossFit HQ, their panel of MDs and PhDs, as well as the insurance companies that 
insure CrossFit affiliates. We keep the numbers down by running two industrial exhaust fans around the clock, and if need be, opening the doors and windows to get even more fresh air in. Our bathrooms are used by one person at a time with mask on. We have marked the floor to ensure physical distance is maintained and have created a system of open door meaning vacant and closed door means occupied. The gym floor and high touch surfaces are cleaned after each booking and the whole gym is professionally cleaned each evening. Our goal is to keep everyone safe and we are confident we have put the systems in place to do just that. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Listen, Alberta gyms and other businesses are hurting. We've pivoted, adjusted and adapted over and over again. It's time for you to do the same. We personally know a lot of amazing gym owners in Alberta and they echo our sentiments. They got into this business to help people and their members' health and their mental health is a priority. Painting all businesses with the same brush is causing unnecessary harm. We need to stop reacting and start being proactive. Not all gyms are created equal. Give us and other conscientious owners a chance to meet safety protocols and let us open. Let the businesses that can operate safely do just that. It's time you put the power in the hands of the people that have worked so hard to build and sustain their businesses. Give us a little credit. I think we've earned it.